Hi, I'm Glenn. And I'm Brent. And, and we're, we're the Penumbra, Penumbra Brothers. Brothers. We focus on you. Hey, YouTube fans. Uh, we're here with a very special introduction uh, this morning. Uh, we have found the long lost Penumbra brother, John White. He's kind of like a brother from another mother. So I've worked with John for over 20 years and he brings a wealth of experience to the channel. Uh, and actually we figured between the three of us, unfortunately or fortunately, we've got about 100 years of radiology experience. So welcome, John. Well, thank you. Happy to be here. Hi, my name's John. I'm with the Panorama Brothers and today we're gonna cover swimmer's view. We usually use this view to um, visualize the C7-T1 juncture or the cerv cervical thoracic region. If the patient has broad shoulders or if on a lateral T-spine, we need to visualize that upper thoracic region. So I'm gonna have Glenn come over and we're gonna run through this real quick. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna start out in a true lateral position, make sure the patient's body and head are uh, in the true lateral, the mid coronal plane is perpendicular to the IR, and we're gonna have Glenn elevate his left arm, so the side closest to the IR, and go ahead and rest the arm on his head, and then we're gonna have him depress the shoulder away from the IR, so kind of reach down towards the knee, and then we can rotate the shoulder back just a little bit to offset the, the humeral heads. So in, at this point, we're gonna center at the C7-T1 juncture, which is about the base of the neck, and we're gonna have the patient make sure their head is nice and straight, there we go, and uh, we're gonna have them go ahead and Suspend, on, uh, suspend respiration, I prefer on in, uh, expiration, just to drop that shoulder down, go ahead and hold, expose the image, and there's your swimmer's view. And we wanna make sure that we're collimated so we include the lower cervical and the upper thoracic region. And that's your swimmer's view, thanks.